key here is to avoid excess heat. So too many amps or lingering in one spot can overheat that route and push additional metal through to the back side, which can distort or disturb the root bead we've already established. But with that in mind, we still have to remember to fully fuse into that run to burn out any areas of lack of fusion. As you can see, we're putting a slight weave on the rod to ensure it fully covers that first run. Once that pass is complete, we get our cheeky chipper out, knock that slag off and check that the bead is tied in properly and is covering that previous run nicely. That sets us up then for our next pass where we're going to up our amps to 125 and we're going to split that due to the size and the width of the joint. So the aim here is to cover half of the hot pass while fusing cleanly into the bottom plate. We don't want this run sitting too high because it can make our gap too small for the second run to sit in and that's exactly where that slag is going to get trapped in. A good rule of thumb, if you can't comfortably fit that bottom of the rod in the gap it's probably too tight and this can lead to slag inclusions and lack of fusion. 